I'm normally not much for appearing in my own videos, but Counselor June Hoffman did suggest this. Uh, one of the reasons people are so concerned about all these trees being torn down on the Lafarge lands is that it's a natural buffer between the residences on the other side of Silver Creek Parkway South and beyond the, the forest and that over there, the Hanlon Expressway. And I can say, even though I'm just a few meters away from where the rest of tonight's festivities took place, there really is a world of difference between the sound of the traffic from being here directly exposed to the sounds of it and being a few short meters over there where there are trees and other plants in the way. Thank you for being here today to grieve the loss of this forest and celebrate our connection with it. My name is Christine and I'm a local resident. We recently received the news that the land from here to the Hanlon and from here to the creek will be cleared of most trees, all the plants, as well as evicting all of the insects and animal life that call this place home. This burr oak will be saved and the trees lining the creek. Give yourself permission to feel all that you're feeling. Grief looks different for everyone and can include sadness, anger, regret, love, joy. It's important that tonight we're gathering as a community. We all have stories of this land or of nature in general. We're supporting and witnessing each other. We mourn the loss of life. We celebrate the memories and stories. And we also recognize that there are stories and relationships to this land much older than any of us. Many of us are settlers here, and for thousands of years, this land now known as Guelph has been home to indigenous communities, including the Attawandaran, Attawandaronk, and neutral peoples. As we tend to and seek justice for this land, let us also lend our support, skills, and resources toward the justice of our indigenous neighbors. And many of you are here because of your connection to this land. Even though this land is technically owned by someone else, the everyday reality is that this is a community space. This is ours. And if this particular land isn't familiar to you, then I'm sure you have similar spaces that you love. I encourage you to meet each other after this. Trade stories. Ask each other how long you've been coming here. Ask each other for special memories. We grieve that which we value, that which we will miss. So we grieve because of the joy. We grieve because this land and this space has given us so much. We have a relationship with the land and the creatures that call this place home. We feel the shame that we are members of the species, of the culture, who doesn't see the inherent value of this place and thinks that death and destruction is a good idea. After this gathering, I invite each of you to participate by tying one of these pieces of fabric gently around a tree branch, a plant, or a rock. With the markers available, I invite you, if you wish, to also write a word, a phrase, or draw an image on the fabric. What message would you like to send to the land right now? Maybe you write the feelings you have now, or write of your gratitude or special memories, or your intentions or wishes for this space. You can place the fabric tonight, right after our gathering, or you can take one home and place it privately when you're down here next on your next walk. Then, as the trees come down, these fabrics will remain, and we will be there in that moment as their witness.